There are legends that dwell within the hidden places of Neopia. Some are of the light, but others... Others are of the darkest kind. <laughs> I've got something for you to do, something important. I want you to deliver a package. Over to Farmer Addison's again? No, this one goes to Meridel. To Meridel? To the castle? I know you're excited, but there's a few things you need to know about before you go. The road to Meridel is a long one, son, and it's not safe. You'll need something to guard that package with. This is the key to the chest upstairs. In it is the sword I had when I was young. Listen, Tor, it is not a toy. It carries with it great responsibility. Do you understand what that means? It's like being a knight. You have to fight for the good and against injustice and evil. That's part of it for sure. But knights follow a code, a code of chivalry. They defend the weak, they don't lie, and always keep their word. They fight only for the right causes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Then go, boy. This package won't deliver itself. Thank you. No, I really mean it. Thank you. It's about time someone showed those bandits a thing or two. Let's see. You deserve a little something for your effort. That's not necessary. A true knight knows when to accept an honest gift for your trouble here. It may not look like much, but there's more to it than meets the eye. Remember never to take it off. It's a very special piece. Give me back the package. I don't think so. <laughs> Any who wishes to live should leave now. You're a brave one, willing to take on such odds. I'd wager you'd make a fine knight someday. Thank you, sir. I hope to. I know you will.
Tor, we were so worried. When you didn't come back, we had old man Boggs watching the road for you. And now your sister is missing too. We sent her out to do your chores. She was supposed to pick some juppies for dinner, but she hasn't returned. She was upset that you were allowed to go to Maridel. She said she wanted to go on an adventure too. You don't think she... She wouldn't go off into Shadow Glen Woods, would she? Son, you must look for her. Please, Tor. It's getting late, and if she's lost and out alone after dark, who knows what could happen to her? And then I thought it was going to eat him, but he came at it. I yeah! And he cut off a tentacle, and it let out a big roar, and tried to wrap tentacles around him. He was so brave. I'm so proud of you, son. Wait until I tell everyone. Our own hero. I, I can't stay. I've got permission to become a squire. I could become a knight of Meridel one day, and I need you to sign this paper. Is this what you really want to do? More than anything. You've grown up faster than I realized. You'll make a fine squire. Write to us, often, and be careful. And for the good of the kingdom, I do dub thee, sir. Sir. Well, spit it out, boy. What's your name? Tor. A uh, uh, Tormund, sir. Uh, er, your majesty. Right then. That wasn't so hard, was it? <clears throat> sir Tormund, defender of the kingdom and knight of the realm. Third class. Hail Tormund, Knight Third Class! My lord, a messenger from Illison. <sighs> what does that fern-covered forest fairy want now? King Skarl, I come to report that the Glade is under attack. Illison needs the help of Meridel. What? <laughs> Who would dare attack Illison? Um, it's... The Werelook King, your majesty. The Werelook King? The last time he moved against her, she turned him into a doggle fox for an entire month! <laughs> Guards, take this lying little no-name and throw him into the moat. Wait! Illison hasn't been herself lately! She's been secluded inside the glade and few have seen her! Dark clouds have gathered above her trees! You must have seen them! It's true, my lord. We've seen such clouds as he describes. We assume that it was Illison's work. Hmm. She's not known for doing any dark conjurations, which makes this disturbing news indeed. Right then! You heard the man! Knights of Meridel, let's ride! Thank you, my lord. Away. I don't have time for this. Novice. Two bones. Come, 
We must leave quickly before... You, more than most, should know never to turn your back on your enemy. No! Narthus, quit playing with your food and kill him! Fighting. Fighting. My lady, what happened? Since she came back, I sensed her power. So dark, so strong. Never felt anything so strong. Who, my lady? Listen to me. Her hate is so deep. She'll take us all, all the fairies, and send us to a black sleep from which we can never awaken. Only my chunk. Oh no! No! She's won! She's won, and there's nothing... You must stop her! Putting the fairies to sleep is only the beginning. You must warn King Skarl that she is loose. She... This land is mine! thousand years, you say? And they completely forgot me. Well now, that will never do. And I suppose I should remedy that. Conquering this fly speck of a kingdom was easy enough, but I need something a little bigger to announce my return. Oh, I know. I'll destroy it completely! That should get their attention. And I know just the weapon to use to flatten the place. Two birds with one stone. <laughs> oh yes, that would do wonderfully. He doesn't appear to be under my control. How unusual. Kill him, but bring me what's left of the body when you're done. Of course, dear sister. It's about time we had some... Amusement! <gasps> here! Over here, young master! This chute leads to the moat. You can escape and warn the others. Where could he have gone? Aha! A rubbish chute. Ew! I'm not going in there. We'll just have to... Flush him out! <laughs> I hate doing these things. Yet still, they must be done. I wasn't cut out to be a diplomat, Saradar. Nonetheless, you are the king's niece, and you must do your best for your family and your kingdom. We shouldn't be long, Solarin. I hope. I have learned the basic spells in secret. I promise to keep my silence if you will teach me more. You have a natural gift for magic, but as royal sorcerer, I know only too well that the responsibilities of magic and diplomacy are mutually exclusive. If they weren't, 
I would be the diplomat here, and you would be the sorcerer. But... The mission is most important. Your uncle and I have never seen such clouds as those that gather over Meridel. They are dark things, and full of power. Our meeting with Queen Fiora must go well, and that responsibility falls to you. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. You do fine, Roberta. And if it helps any, maybe I'll teach you some more complicated spells while we're here. Really? Just one or two. But now we must hurry. It's getting late, and I'm sure Queen Fiora will want to meet with us soon. Lady of the Western Skies, ruler of Fairyland, my uncle sends his best wishes from Brightvale. And we return our greetings and best wishes for his health. To what occasion do we owe the pleasure of your visit? My lady, I am Seredar, royal sorcerer of the court of Brightvale. Dark clouds have emerged over Meridel, and we fear them. We ask for Milady's help. I have noticed the darkness and sent word to Illison about this matter. She has not answered, and we are concerned. When Fairyland next passes over Meridel, I will look into the problem. That much I promise. The citizens of Brightvale thank you for your wisdom and your action. <gasps> Dearest Fiora, for more than a thousand years I have waited for this moment. <laughs> Please don't ruin it by speaking. After all, I've had an awfully long time to plan this revenge. Just wait and see what I have in store for you. My minions were right. Another one has resisted my power. Two now, in so short a time. What makes you and that young loot so special? Hmm. You look familiar and yet... No, it's not possible. A thousand years have passed. Besides, it doesn't matter who you are. I have so many wonderful ways of finding out where your precious defense comes from. Let's try them all, why don't we? What is causing that infernal racket? It's alright! It's me! The one who got the Harris down for you. I'm going to get you out. You have the heart of a hero. Okay. We can probably take the West Corridor and get out through the... No. What? If we stay together, she'll find us and imprison us both. I'm not leaving you here. Now that I'm out of the shackles, I can get to a place where I'll be safe. But you will need help. Huh? Find this amulet's twin. The one who possesses it can help you before. You have to go now. Get out of Fairyland and find him. Go! It's blocked! There must be another way down. <gasps> the Endless Staircase! Now, where were we? Who has done this? Who has set her free? Solarin! 
Stop! No one defies me! Right? Uh, no, not really. Looks like you're still in one piece to me. Where did you fall from? Fairyland! Fairyland? Oh no! They followed me! What followed you? Are you okay? I'm fine. My name is Tor. Uh, Sir Tor, I guess. I'm a knight. I am Roberta. Thank you for helping me with that fight. You are quite good with that sword. You're pretty good with those spells yourself. Thank you. That was the first time I really had to... You have the other amulet. The other amulet? The Aisha who gave me this said I had to find its twin. She said it was important. Vitally important. A beggar gave me this one. He told me never to take it off. Listen, I know you don't know me, but Fairyland is in trouble. This... this twisted fairy... The darkest one you've ever seen? You've seen her too? She's taken Meridel as well. We have to stop her. Listen, my uncle is the king of Brightvale. If there is anywhere that we can get help, it's there. As long as she hasn't gotten there first, let's go. They must be dealt with. Ah, a new customer. How may I be of service? Rumor has it that you are the best at what you do. I have need of such services. My prices are quite high. Oh, yes. Your offer is quite generous. I'll take care of them immediately. Master, King of Brightvale, may I present your niece and premier diplomat, the most gracious Lady Roberta? He knows who I am. You're back. I didn't see Sonorum arrive. What news from Fairyland? Good news, I trust. Fairyland has fallen, Uncle. Overcome by the same forces that overwhelmed Meridel. But that's not possible. Fiora was our only hope. We must get Sarodor on this right away. He's fallen as well, Uncle. The clouds change Neopets, sire. It drives them mad. Your sorcerer is now one of them. Then, then there is no hope. My advisors say the clouds will be upon us in less than three days. It has already swallowed Bogshot and Market Town. There is some hope, Uncle. These amulets, they offer protection against the clouds. We were charged to keep them on us at all costs. If we can enter the clouds and find the source of their dark magic, we might find a way to stop them. This sounds awfully dangerous for a diplomat. Maybe another should... I never wanted to be a diplomat. I'm a sorceress. To be fair, sire, I've seen her use her spell. She's quite good. Really, she is. It seems I've little choice in the matter. So be it. You are charged as champions of Bright Vale to find the source of this evil and put an end to it. And son... Yes, sire? Take good care of her.
first things first. We need to do some research to see if this has happened before. But how? Where do you find information on purple clouds? You do have books in Maridel, right? The king has a library. But I've heard he just uses it to impress princesses. Well, Brightvale prides itself on its books. The Royal Library has practically every book ever written. There must be something there. Come on! Children. Who said that? She sends me up against children. But I promise you one thing. I'll try to make your deaths painless. Who goes there? That's the king's niece! She's being attacked! Hmm. It seems that fate and larger numbers have granted you a reprieve. Doesn't matter to me. I will return at a more convenient time. monsters keep the clouds in place, then if we defeat the monsters, we can free the land! How do we get past this? You don't. You can't get through dark fairy magic this powerful. You're feisty. I like that in a target. But this is too much fun to stop now. I tell you what, I'll wait on the other side of this wall and watch your kingdom be destroyed bit by bit. Once it's done, I'll come out and kill you. What do you think? <laughs> I really hate him. But how do we get through this thing? You need to counteract really dark magic with something light. Perhaps another fairy? Illison! Illison the Earth Fairy is here! Could we use her magic? Of course! That's even better! Since Illison is tied to the land, where do we go? That way. But when I last saw her, she wasn't doing too well. She may be under that evil fairy's control. Well, then we'll have to save her, won't we? I'm sorry. It's just that you make this too easy. Ah! It looks like some little friends are dying to have you for dinner. <laughs>
sorry. This lift is out of service. You! You! Come down here and fight! Not really worth the trouble. You can't get up here. You don't have any way to awaken the fairy. Why don't you run off and play until you grow big enough to be an actual threat? Just you wait! If you want to play those kind of games, you might as well give up right now. You have no hope of beating me. No, just watch us. Oh, good. It wouldn't be quite as much fun if you gave up. I'll see you later, then. For your aid, brave ones. It was our honor to help you. Lady Illison, now we need your help. A dark wall separates us from Meridel. It's fairy magic. A power of the darkest kind. But there is something I have that will aid you. This fairy globe can pierce through such barriers. Take it and use it well in your quest. of the bargain first. Ah, fine, fine. Down there. <laughs> These are the old sewer tunnels, not on any map. An entrance into the dungeons is down there. This looks like a dungeon entrance to me. So how do we get it open? We're smart. We can figure it out. Um, of course. Certainly we can. Incredible! The entire fortune of the kingdom is here! There it is! Fiora's wand! All we have to do is find a way to climb up there and get it. be dead? This can't be good. Who dare disturb the king of Drool? You? We thought we killed you. A mistake that we will now correct. Ah! That witch! She stole our invulnerability! Sisters, it looks like we'll have to dirty our hands a bit with this one. I am. Between me and this brave knight here, we have saved the day. 
This calls for a feast. Send for the chefs. I want something magnificent. Something everyone will remember for millennia. Uh, my lord, my work isn't done yet. I must go with my companion to aid Queen Fiora. Well, suit yourself. The feast will keep until you get back. In the meantime, let's get those ovens cooking! Any idea of how we're going to get up to Fairyland? I think... maybe... Solarin. How did you... Never mind. Let's go! I've, uh, never ridden a uni before. It should be easy for such a brave knight. Estimated my powers. A mistake I doubt she'll repeat. Excellent. You have brought the wand. If I may have it, please, I will return this one to where she belongs. Surprise, my dear. Thank you for bringing me exactly what I need to destroy this place once and for all! Ow! You're free? But how? You underestimated my powers. It's a mistake I doubt I'll repeat. Find your Donna. She'll know what to do. Go! Jordana is dead! A thousand years dead! No sense in taking any chances, though. <laughs> to be dead. Then where are we? I knew you had the potential to be a great hero. You! I'm sorry I couldn't aid you further. Who are you? And where are we now? This is Altidore. You are in the Hall of Heroes. The answers you seek lie here. Altidore? The same Altidore that the Darkest Fairy destroyed? She is powerful, but there are greater powers than even she knows. The answers you need are here, but you must decipher them. This is amazing. It's a detailed account of the beginning of Altador's empire. Apparently, a very long time ago, these lands were overrun by terrible monsters. Twelve heroes arose and joined forces to defeat these monsters and create Altador. The city grew into a vast empire that lasted thousands of years. Then something went horribly wrong. About a thousand years ago, one of these heroes broke her sacred bond and tried to conquer all of Altador. She could corrupt things, neopets and places, and the Empire started to crumble. She became known as... the Darkest Fairy! She was destroying us. In a desperate bid to save Altador, 
our sorceress Jordana twisted time itself. As the darkest fairy spread her powers over the city, Altidore was sealed away in a bubble of slowed time, completely removed from the world. So everyone thought Altidore was destroyed. The remnants of her evil still haunt this land, and we cannot root it out. Can't anything be done? There is a possibility. The four greatest Altidore legends have shrines built to them. If the four shrines were restored, the legend should awaken, restoring the land and granting aid to those battling the darkest fairy. Then we'll awaken them! Where are those shrines? And what do we have to do? Just be the heroes you are destined to be. Cleverness and courage win the day, traits that always lead to victory over any foe. Take my token and know this truth. When you need my aid, I will come to your call. Token of my appreciation and a mere pittance for your troubles. Should you ever have need of my services, feel free to give me a call. I am pleased to see such kind souls have returned to the city. Here, take this, a token of my goodwill. It will summon me should you require my help. you'd be able to do it. If you'd followed a different path in life, you both would have made passable thieves. Do I know you? Ah, the boy is sharp. There's hope for you yet. Here's a token of my good favor. Keep it with you and use it to call me when the time is right. You're bright enough to know when that is. aided us to rid the land of the darkest one's taint. There is, however, one last task to complete. Since you began your journey, we've done our best to help you. As beggar... A helpful wandering merchant. A noble man-at-arms. Cleaning woman. And knightly mentor. But for Altidore to live again, you must go to a place where we cannot help. Jordana, the sorceress, who has kept us safe all these years is trapped in the heart of the city by the last echo of the Darkest One's power. You must go there into Hero's Rest to free Jardana so that Altidore can rise again. Will you do this? Yes. yes. Then be off.
So you have risen to the potential that I first saw in you. A powerful sorceress, worthy of the forces she wields. You were the one who gave me my amulet! Yes. And when you both are ready, when you both choose to go, I will return you to do battle with the Darkest Fairy. But how can we defeat her? With this. The orb that froze her in time. Fiora used it to turn the Darkest Fairy to stone and imprison her under the sea. When you are ready, call, and I will return you home. enough. For courage, bravery, and chivalry of the highest measure, we bestow upon Tormund of Meridel and Roberta of Brightvale the honor of Defender of the Realms. Because of you, Altador is restored to Neopia, and Neopia is safe from a most pernicious influence. The Darkest Fairy, if I may ask. What became of her? Don't worry. She's been placed somewhere we can keep a close eye on her. <laughs> <laughs> 